We're currently spraying with, with PEG. We have to heat it up to 28 degrees, which is why it's so hot in here. And we need to have a sealed environment because over the last 10 years, we've been building up the concentration of the PEG. And that means this hot box that we call it has to be sealed. So at the moment, it's about 28 to 30 degrees and about 90% humidity. There's also various threats from things coming out of the woods, such as Legionella, which is why we wear the mask. And really the unknown element of what's in the wood from when it was on the seabed and what's developed since it's been raised. When we turn the sprays off, we'll have temporary dehumidifiers, which are going to go on these scaffolding along here. The idea is to get it straight down to 55% and 18, about 18 degrees. So we should be there within a day or so down to that. Yeah, loud and clear. We're ready for the sprays to off now. Please turn the sprays off. Thank you. So we've just turned the sprays off. This is a momentous occasion for the Mary Rose. We've been spraying for over 30 years. Um, so many people involved in the project have contributed over the years um, and it's a really exciting thing to see and now we're ready for the next phase and uh, what that brings. This is a momentous time for the May Rose Trust, the project of looking after the May Rose, Henry VIII's warship, for posterity. Because we've turned off the sprays. We've been spraying this hull continuously for 30 years. Now the sprays are off. And we go through a drying process. But we're going to open this magnificent new museum on the 31st of May. People should start booking now because it's going to be booked on time slots to get in. It's going to be so popular an extraordinary exhibition and people will see the ship undergoing conservation being dried. They will look through windows over the next few years before we can take down the walls but they'll see the ship in all its glory being dried but also the contents, thousands of which have never been seen by the public before.